Addressing a dark chapter in history, the atomic bombings of Nagasaki and Hiroshima, the president speaking to them today. Barack Obama becoming the first sitting U.S. president to visit Hiroshima. 71 years after those bombs were dropped, 240,000 people died in the attacks. While the president stopped short of an apology, he said the horrors of these killings must never be forgotten or repeated. Today, I spoke with a woman who now calls Toronto home, but lived through the Hiroshima nightmare. What was it like that day, August 6th? That day? Yeah. Well, I was 13 years old, grade 8 student at the girls' school. And, but I, on that day, I was not at school. I was at the Army headquarters. Because Japan was losing fast in the war, they had to depend on the cheap labor of students. So we were mobilized. That was Monday morning, and at 8 o'clock, we had the morning assembly. And the major said, well, girls, you got the good training. This is the day you start proving your patriotism to do your best for the emperor. We said, yes, sir, we will do our best. And at that moment, I saw the bluish-white flash in the windows. And then suddenly my body was up in the air. I remember feeling floating up in the air when I regained the consciousness in the total darkness and silence. I found myself pinned under the building and I could not move. So I knew I was faced with death. But the strange thing is I never felt the uh, panic stricken. I was serene and calm, facing death. Then I started hearing faint voices of my classmates. God help me. Mother help me. I am here. Then all of a sudden, from behind, and uh, somebody started shaking my left, up, left shoulder. And the strong voice said, well, I'm trying to free you. So keep moving, keep pushing, keep kicking, and you see the sunlight coming from that opening. Move toward it, quick, and crawl, and that's what I did. And by the time I came to the opening, the building was on fire. That meant that most of the girls in my group were burnt alive. Let's go back to uh, to the speech today, and, and he he being the first sitting president to. Uh, to go to Hiroshima. How, how important is that for, uh, for the survivors to see that? Well, many people asked him to come. So I'm glad he was able to make the time to respond to the wishes of the people. We hoped he would say something meaningful. Well, he did say something of significant, general philosophical things. But he didn't say anything concrete. The world must learn. We are warning the world to learn how dangerous nuclear weapons are. Not just those primitive ones I experienced, but today's nuclear weapons are so many, many times more sophisticated, in other words, destructive. Hmm. And we have 16,000 of them. I can't imagine if they start having the nuclear exchange. That's, the, that's going to be the beginning of the end of this Earth and the planet. Well, most of people just don't think about it. It's too painful, and people are living in denial. Thurlow says she would like to see the U.S. take the lead in creating an all-out nuclear ban.